What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the day of week function in the date and times function collection. So day of week is the ability to pass in a timestamp into this function. And what it'll do is it'll look at that timestamp and it will figure out what day of the week we're on and then it'll output as a, um, as a number value. So what it'll do is it'll run through, it'll figure out the day of the week and it'll give you a number back and that number corresponds to that day of the week. So if we uh, are running on a Sunday, for instance, it'll output to zero. On a Monday, it outputs as one, Tuesday two, Wednesday three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow for our testing purposes and a compose action. If I click into the compose box, we get the expression editor on the right, and we can scroll down until we get to date and time. So click see more to expand them, and we're going to scroll down until we get to day of week. This only has a single parameter we need to pass in, which is just a timestamp, and the description says returns the day of the week component of a string timestamp. If we click on this, we can put it in up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use UTC now for testing purposes, um, just to give us a timestamp. Click OK, and it goes into there, uh, and we can test it. So I'm recording this video on the 11th of February, uh, 2020. So today's day is actually a Tuesday. So what we should see in here is the number two. And there we go. So it goes zero for zero for Sunday, one for Monday, two for Tuesday, three for Wednesday, four for Thursday, five for Friday, six for Saturday. So if we just want to double check some of these, we can um, just put in a, um, like that, just put in a, a date, so we can say 2020 dash 02 dash uh, 09. It's two days in the past, which would be Sunday. We can update that and see updates. We can test this. Run the flow, and then we can see this. Now, I think this is very useful. Uh, it doesn't output it as a as a string. Now, there's probably a very reason why it doesn't output it as a string. Is that uh, it, it's in like you know a word, say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Is that there are so many different languages uh, all around the world um, that trying to calculate put in all those different um, variations of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday could prove quite problematic. So outputting it as a string, uh, math is a bit more of a universal language, so that makes it easy from that perspective. Um, I personally use this stuff before. Um, what I've actually done um, is, I'll put a link to it, I created a power app to track my medication. Um, so I take antihistamines because of my allergies, and I have a very bad memory. Um, so I made an app to do that, and one of the things that it does is it checks the day of the week, it checks to see whether I've taken my medication on that day. And if I've not taken that medication on my day, it sends a push notification to my phone to say, hey, you idiot, you forgot to take your medication again, go take it now. So that's where I've used this in before, where I need a reoccurring flow that will run on the days of the week, figure out what day it is, look that up in my table, and then figure out if it needs to send me a, a notification or not. So I think this is particularly useful. I've used it myself in that respect. As always, I want to know what you guys are using this for. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, it's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.